Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather. Welcome back for day five for Denture Fest. Um, so yeah, don't forget. Ooh, gotta tell you guys this before I get started. First of all, this is a video on being prepared for dentures to give you a heads up what to look forward. Like, I don't know about looking forward to, but what to expect, what you should have in your little denture box of fun. Uh, that's what I like to call it, and I'll explain it all to you. But before I get started, I have a giveaway going on right now for Dr. B's. Um, for wipes and clean dent uh, crystals. So if you want to get in on that, go to my videos on my channel and scroll down to you see DentureFest giveaway. That's the first video I uploaded for DentureFest. So definitely get in on it because it's going to be done on the 7th and you're going to be bummed if you miss it. Um, so yeah. Also too, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe guys. Like the video so I know what videos you like. Um, share it to people that need help. That's the one thing I did. I also did a video uh, yesterday based on talking to dentists, getting, you know, you should be telling people stuff. And that's another thing I'm going to talk about in this video because dentists don't tell us anything. And that's a legit fact. But, okay, to get started, first we're going to start with, because this is way shorter than what I'm going to tell you before, is you want to make sure. Now, you want to get a denture box of fun. You want a box. I got this at Dollar General for a couple bucks. It's sterile container, whatever. I put it above my bathroom uh, toilet. You know that thing that stands with the shelf things? I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But you want to get one of, one of these boxes. Um, you want to get washcloths. These come in handy. Listen, they tell people tell you, oh, fill your you know sink with water and you know wash it over there. One, you can still break your denture. Two, that's a waste of friggin' water. Uh, three, don't. <laughs> like I'm gonna be don't. Um, I just, on my kitchen counter, I put a washcloth just like this and I just sit there scrubbing my little denture. So if it falls out of my hand by any chance, it's right on here with like a inch fall. So it ain't going to break. Um, so yeah, washcloths. I have like 30 of these things. They come in handy. Um, so yeah, you also want to have a soft bristle brush. Denture brushes are not good until they come out with something better. Um, everybody ever ever recommend soft bristle brush. I have a cap on mine. Soft bristle brush. Same kind of brush you would use for your teeth. Um, works better than the denture brushes. But make sure you guys know to clean your gums as well. Do not use the same brush. Have a designated brush. Like I keep mine with a cap in my denture box. And my one that I use for my actual gums, I put um, with the rest of the toothbrushes in the house. Always keep them separated. Do not combine them because they're not supposed to be the same products we use in our mouth are on um, our dentures, but yeah, don't mix them up guys, don't. Also too, do not ever use toothpaste on your dentures, ever. They cause microscopic abrasions and they can cause moles and mildew and everything to get inside. You'll get black, brown, yellow, green, whatever spots all over your denture. By then you dentists can't fix that. Um, if they can't, you'll end up having to get a new denture. So do not ever, people say, oh, well, I don't see a difference now. That's great because it's microscopic scratches. Um, you will see a difference and you'll get, listen, these are plastic. This is acrylic. It is not enamel. It is not bone. It is not your tooth. Um, toothpaste is way stronger, way stronger and is meant for your teeth only. It is not meant for your denture. So please, please do not use toothpaste. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you the products that I recommend. Um, if you want to check out my reviews, they are on my page. Just go to my videos. You can even go to my playlist and I have a breakdown of my reviews shortcut. So you have to go through all my videos because I have over like 320 videos in the last five months. I've been a YouTuber. So it's a lot of videos and lucky for you, I made playlists. So <laughs> all you have to do is just go to my playlist and check them out. Not all my videos are in playlists. Um, because I've already have a crap load of playlists and some of them don't go in categories, but um, let me check out the stuff that doesn't work. Um, I kept the stuff that doesn't work only to show people what not to get. Um, okay, so, oh, I did forget one thing that I put over there. First of all, I do want to state that Dr. B products are insanely amazing. If you want a zinc-free, all-natural products, um, they have Clinodent Crystals, which is an amazing disinfectant and cleaner for your denture. Like it kills staph strap E. coli. It kills candida. Like it's the only product 
that actually kills as much as it does. Denture Clean, which is from Denture Fit, um, they recently came out with a product called Denture Clean. And, you know, they kill, um, like, I think, strep and candida and asotomias. I don't, I'm not saying it right. Don't quote me on that one. But um, Dr. B's does kill more. But they're both great products. They both disinfect. Everything else, like Polydent and all them, just say odor-causing bacteria. They're not very clear um, because they don't kill the, the stuff that's commonly found in our denture. So you definitely want to be careful with that. Um, as I say, you guys, Dr. B products, their adhesive is bomb too. Um, I'm not even a big all natural person either. So, I mean, I had doubt trying it, but then I was like, mm, I love to be proven wrong because for them to work, for that to work so well and all their products, they even have the wipes I recommend. Go to clean, go to Dr. B's uh, so dentalsolutions.com and use the code DENT for 20% off um, of your first time order. I believe it doesn't work on the adhesive, but it works on everything else. And either way, you get it off on your order um, in general. So definitely go get their products. I have their products everywhere. That's why I didn't bring it down with me um, in my little seating spot right now because they're over by my sink. And I forgot to do that because I was in a rush. So <laughs> the Clean and Dent Crystals is awesome. The adhesive is awesome. Like, they're, you guys, their products are just so freaking cool, and they're awesome. They do what they're supposed to do, and uh, just freaking try it. Just try it. Just, I'm going to just shut up. Just try it. Um, where's my favorite adhesive? Okay. fix it and Ultramax. Between Dr. B's adhesive and fix it and Ultramax, this does have zinc in it. I'm going to let you guys know zinc ain't going to kill you. It's in your multivitamins. It's in your multivitamins. The only way people hear bad shit about, you know, zinc and all that and denture adhesive, it's in your multivitamins, guys. You're ingesting your multivitamins. People are like, well, you know, it could be too much for one dose, which is rare. But if you're over applying your denture adhesive, like more than once a day, you need a new adhesive. Whether it has zinc or not, it doesn't matter at this point. If you're putting your adhesive in more than once a day, that's a problem. It's a big problem. So if... You say you use fix it up and you're, it's not working for you. Go try something else. Plus there's many different other fix it ends. But you also need to know that there's drying time. People think that popping in denture adhesive in their denture and you can go ahead and drink. No, it's a glue. You have to wait 45 minutes before you eat or drink after you're putting in your denture with adhesive. So remember that. Remember that when you do it. So fix it on Ultramax. It's actually one of the most requested things people ask me to do a giveaway on, um, which is coming soon. Just saying. But ooh, also too. Um, oh, by the way, I want to tell you guys this because nobody talks about it. Uh, Dr. B has what's called Cleanadent, the only denture product in existence. You can, Oh, and their products are ADA approved, by the way. Um, the only thing in existence that can clean your mouth and your denture, the only product you can use inside your mouth and your denture, most all denture products, except for this one, you can only use on your denture. You can never put it in your mouth. So go get clean it end because it's freaking awesome. Like you only need one product to clean your denture and your gums. Like you don't even need toothpaste for your gums anymore. You just use freaking clean it and saves you money. Go, go. Use Dent, 20% off your first order. Go try it. But they also have Fresh and Bright. Fresh and Bright is also ADA approved. I prefer to only use ADA approved products, but that's me. That video is coming soon, guys. Um, why people fail the ADA and why they don't put it in, what the criteria is. That's going to be an exciting video and probably going to make you be like, oh, why am I using that product? That makes me wonder what's wrong with it. Like, dude, that's what it made me do. But this is ADA approved. It's cheap. It's $2.97 at Walmart. It does fresh and bright. It does what it says. It makes your denture clean. It makes them bright. It makes them good. I don't have the max whiteness. I didn't do the max whatever um, on my denture. I did A1 um, to match my bottom, but they look mad bright, right? Mm, I know. Fresh and bright, guys. Try it. And Dr. B's Clean a Dent is bomb. Go try it. Also, too. First of all, don't use Benzodent. Don't. 
I used it before I actually read the back and the back in big bold letters and now they actually changed it. Look at all that. First of all, it causes a certain anemia. Benzocaine, that's, that, you know, is in Benzodet, um, which is in many other products. Anything with Benzocaine in it can actually cause an anemia that takes away oxygen out of your blood and you can die. Um, I've done a video on it. I've warned people. I give them the heads up um, because people need to be aware. Nobody talks about it. Nobody says anything. They just say it's an, aw it's an awesome product. Yeah, it works. Great. But you can die. And it's not like a rare thing. I've looked it up. They actually like made it a hardcore warning now. Like hardcore. Like look, check that out. Um, my video or you can go on the FDA and check out the Benzocaine. Huge warning because so many people were getting severely sick or dying from it that they were forced to do a huge warning on it. So you might want to check that out. So I use this. I save it to show people what not to do. So I use Curoxin. I'm actually out at the moment because um, I don't really need it. But Curoxin, you can get now. It's a new product. It's completely all natural. It's got everything in it that fights bacteria, that does all that, but natural stuff. And it takes away pain. It works very well. You can get it at Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, wherever. It's called Curoxin. C-U-R-O-X-E-N, I believe, off the top of my head. Pretty sure that's what it is. Get it, because you're going to need that for E-Day. You're going to need that for the first, like, month or two. Just saying. Might want to go get it that now. Like, stop the, go get it. Just, just go. Um, now when it comes to powders, when you're first starting out, powders is what you're going to need because just a little heads up. I don't know what dentist probably didn't tell you shit. So, um, you're not supposed to put any adhesive on your gums till they're healed, which is like the first month. That's why soft relines don't get done until the first month. Unless the denture or person who did your denture screwed up to the max and they have to give you a soft reline on E-Day, which is so bad with the chemicals going inside your sockets and it's going to hurt so bad. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you. I'm praying that doesn't happen to you. Um, but these, you can put adhesive for the first your first month. You can put it on your palate only, on the top. Whatever's not touching a socket. And then after a month you can... But these are the two powders I use and I recommend. They work great um, for if you have security, but you want that little extra something, it works. Um, there's so many things in here that I like don't want you guys to try. <laughs> like, don't use it. Also, too, just to give you guys a heads up, um, when it comes to soft reline, now people can ask me what a soft reline is. It is something that fills your denture and makes your denture more fitting. Um, depends on what it's made out of. I use Denture Fit. It is a soft silicone. Hold on. Oh, I'm eight months into my immediate. So I'm not even in permanent dentures yet. I still have massive shrinkage. And I only use Denture Fit. It's silicone. And it's suction cups to your mouth. Done. In. No problem. I eat with no adhesive. And it's awesome. I've actually been using this for two weeks now. And I love it. So if you want to go to DentureFit.com and go pick some up because it's amazing. Um, on a budget, they have Reline It, which, I mean, I didn't have great suction. I still needed mad adhesive all the time. Um, but that fills in your denture to have more of a security than if your dentures are super, super big and super big. That's what soft relines are meant for. Um, hard relines are done after your first year um, because it's like redoing your denture again. So that's what that is. But this is what Denture Fit looks like. That's the box. That's everything. I highly recommend that. Um, so you guys want to focus on your cleaning. Now, say the first week, right? You're just getting this done. You want to salt warm water rinse four to five times a day. It promotes healing. It kills bacteria. It does everything you need it to do. You're going to get biofilm. It's like this slimy, disgusting, tasting, gooey shit in your mouth from your denture that, well, not from your denture, it's from your gums of it. It's like self-cleaning sort of. It's taking all the bad out. It's taking, you know, we won't go into detail, but it's gross. So salt warm water in your mouth four to five times a day. Use Curoxin if you need it. I always put it on the top of my gums over here, like inside. And then I popped in my denture four minutes later because it'll numb it up and your denture won't hurt. Um, your gums... You guys have to understand your gums are very sensitive when you get it out. Um, and it's not used to hard acrylic. It takes time. 
Please have patience with yourself, guys. Please. So many people just want to toss out their denture and be like, I'm done. Really? No. Everything in life is not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's a prosthetic. It is fake. You have to get used to it. Some people have a problem with talking. Okay, talk more. Some people have a problem with eating. Make sure your dentures are very secure in place because other than that, you're going to have a problem. Just like with mouth sores, you're going to get mouth sores with your denture. Very common, especially the first few months. Use like Curoxin or make sure your denture is not wiggling because if it wiggles and rocks, that means you're going to get mouth sores because it's bumping up against your gums constantly and it's going to cause a problem. Um, so positive mindset is everything, guys. It is. Everything that you're going to go through with this, it does get better. I'm eight and a half months in, guys, of getting this done. And um, I should be getting my permanent ones. I don't even know what month is it. Oh, it's October. Duh. October, your fest. Um, in about two weeks, I should be getting my permanent ones. Hopefully, they come out as good as I saw it. But you not you need to have a positive attitude. If you literally go to this process and you have a negative mindset and you see horror stories, which are rare, by the way, but if you see horror stories, you're going to automatically feel defeated. You're going to think that's going to happen to you because I've been there. You can. First of all, eating small bites. Don't be thinking you're going to eat steak the first week. But don't automatically cave into liquid either. Like, it's going to hurt to chew down. Chew softly. Your dentures, your gums will get used to your dentures and that pain from your denture will be gone in a week or two. Um, It does get better every day. The more you eat, the more you practice. Listen, you know how people always said practice makes perfect? It is exactly how it is with dentures. Consider this like a sport, the denture Olympics, as you will. (laughs) And the more you practice, the better you get with it, but you can't just give up because newsflash, if you don't wear your denture, you're increasing bone loss. So in a few years, if you're like, oh, I want to wear my denture, I want to have a good smile again and blah, blah, blah. Well, now you can't because you got no bone left to wear a denture. Keep your denture in, take them out just at nighttime. So your guns, gums can breathe and it can live its best life. Because they do need to breathe and they need some time. So take them out at nighttime. But keep them in your mouth. Fight through whatever you got going on. Push through it. Because in life, things always start rough until they start to get better. Nothing bad lasts forever. And of course, it's going to be hard. Just like if you go through any surgery, right? I mean, I had clots taken out of my leg before. And I had like 80-something stitches. It wasn't easy, but I pushed through it. You walk better. You keep working at it. I didn't just lay in my bed. I mean, literally that afternoon I got up and I freaking took care of my kids and did whatever I had to do. Like you got to push through things. Don't feel sorry for yourself because there's one in five people wear dentures. You're not alone. Literally one in five people. And it ranges from like teenager up to like 70, 80, whatever. One in five people. So if you're in a crowded room, one in five people wear dentures. Crazy, right? But you don't notice. You know people tell me they can't tell I wear a denture? Because it looks so natural. Dentures have come a long way since back in the day. And they're lightweight. Like my acrylic denture is mad. I don't feel heaviness. I don't feel heaviness at all. I think the only time people feel heaviness when they have a metal one. And I don't mean like a partial. I mean an actual heavy metal denture like they used to have. But... These are completely lightweight. I don't have any problems with it. But have faith in yourself, guys. Like, you need to truly believe in yourself and realize that nothing lasts forever. You'll get through it. Of course you'll get through it. But you need to understand you need to have patience with yourself. And also know that there's bone spurs and bone slivers. I think I did a video on that before. I don't remember. I do too many videos. But bone slivers, it happens after extractions. Don't get mad at your dentist. So many people get mad at their dentist. It ain't your dentist, it's your mouth. Um, when they pull out teeth or whatever, you get little bone slivers that eventually push their way through the skin. You can easily, if it is a bone sliver, just take a sterilized tweezer and slide them out. Or you can see your dentist, of course. Um, he just told me I could just take them out myself, which I have many times. Um, if you're pulling and it ain't coming out, don't touch it. Go see your dentist because it could be your jaw healing and moving in the wrong spot and coming through your gum, which is called bone spurs. People confuse bone slivers and bone spurs all the time. So there is a difference. 
but ask your dentist questions before you get this done. Give any information you want to know because they normally don't tell you. But I'm going to stop this video because I'm talking too much and I'm at 20 minutes. But if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I will, of course, answer you. I answer everyone. Have a good night all. God bless and stay safe. Later, guys.